saying things people already know out loud is tight. Get out of my head! You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey! If you don't stop, I will contact the Usher. What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWCI, She-Hulk, episode 8. Rip it and rip it. Looks like we're gonna finally get the Frogman in this episode. I'm keen as for that. I figure the Iconics is a great shirt to wear for the She-Hulk reaction. Let me know in the comments what you guys have uh, thought about She-Hulk so far. We've got one more episode after this. I'm very curious to see where Daredevil's gonna fit into this whole thing. Is Bruce gonna come back? Are we gonna get answers about the Sakarian spaceship? Are we gonna get scrolls in this? Like, there's still a lot to happen, I think, at the end of this. I'm very excited for the finale of She-Hulk next week. I wanna quickly talk about the character Pug as well, played by Josh Segarra. In the first episode, or whenever it was we first meet Pug, second episode, I think, um, I thought he was sleazy. He came in, he's like, hey, I'm Pug. Like, something about the way he introduced himself, I thought was kind of suspect. I was like, oh, I don't know about this guy. And then, as the series went on, we realized that Pug is amazing. I've used the phrase, one to rock, one to stock, many times since uh, he used it in this series. So I started warming up to Pug a bit more. Then I saw an interview with Josh Segarra on uh, Renee Paquette's YouTube channel, uh, the Sessions, I think it's called. And the interview with him was hilarious. I love my pro wrestling, as you can see. And he's a huge wrestling fan. And it was great to hear his uh, stories from working on the set with uh, Tatiana Maslany as well. So I'm officially Team Pug now. Pug is the man. He's my favorite character in the whole series because I've just become a huge fan of the actor as well. So shout out to Josh Segarra. Let's check out Ribbit and Rip It, She-Hulk, episode whatever it was, eight. Let's do this thing. So with the fourth wall thing, if Jen knows everything about this show and about the audience, how does she not know that Josh, um, you know, did that stuff to her? Does she now know it because it's been revealed in the show? It's a weird mechanic, man. It's a weird mechanic. I wouldn't say I'm here for it, but I am here for the show. The show has been uh, very entertaining. Funny enough, I actually read the article. Ah! This is Frogman. So he closed, but you forgot about the guard frog. God frog, come on, man. See, I think it's um, Bruno from Ms. Marvel. Shouted my signature catchphrase. Time to rip it and rip it! Alright, frog man. My inflammable suit with a 900 degree threshold is on fire. <laughs> and you guessed it, I have third degree burns all over my legs. I mean, I deserve justice uh, and compensation for all of my pain. Maybe? I don't know. Where did you get the suit from, man? Who are we suing? Uh, Luke Jacobson. He specializes in super suits. Oh, shit. Oh. Ethically compromised in representing a client against Jacobson. Because I like my nice clothes and I don't want to piss him off. <laughs> I suggest that you try to come to an agreement with Mr. Jacobson, so then a filing would not oh be- Oh Christ, he doesn't seem like the best person to negotiate anything with. Rip it and rip it indeed. <laughs> Jennifer. He looks like Ja Morant with that hair. <laughs> I uh, have been retained by a client who suffered serious injuries due to a dysfunctional suit that you sold him. <laughs> How dare you? I have never made a defective suit in all my life. My work. That is a good point as well. He is pretty good at what he does. I'm not trusting you after you just lumbered in here and stabbed me in the back. <laughs> Who hooked him up with a dodgy suit under the guise of it being Luke Jacobson? I prepaid for that! Then you shouldn't have betrayed me, you greasy old buffalo, you- oh. Goodbye, tragedy. She-Hulk, you should have kicked that door in. <laughs> or out, I guess. <laughs> that glare. Are you representing yourself? Uh, representing himself? Start planning how you're gonna spend all oh, no. money. Oh, no. Mr. Jacobson. <gasps> of... Of course I'm not representing myself, Your Honor. I'm not a fool. Have we got Matt Murdock representing him? 
<laughs> oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Of the defendant's client list be rejected, as it's not relevant to the litigation. Who's this asshole? <laughs> this is Netflix, man. His clients. I would say that's a gross invasion of people's privacy based on a very shaky what if. This is a very common hmm. procedure in product liability lawsuits. It is material to the case. Give me that what if episode. I don't know. <laughs> May I remind you that the Sokovia courts have been repealed. Okay. Jet fuel. Wait a minute. But you used jet fuel in your boosters? Oh. Uh, leapfrog, dude. Uh. No, I didn't. He's lying. Don't ask me how I know. I just. <laughs> yes, we can all tell he's lying, Mr. Murray. <laughs> I'm dismissing this case. Yeah. You want to go to jail? No, but I would like you to. <laughs> Jenny, Jen. No, because I hate you now. <laughs> Leapfrog, you dumb fuck. <laughs> What's this? It's from that guy over there. <laughs> Matt Murdock, you absolute shyster. <laughs> Pretending to be blind. Oh. I'm wearing pants, right? <laughs> my god are they gonna get together came out of nowhere and you made my dumb client admit to being even dumber than i thought he was in court <laughs> oh secret double lives of matt murdoch how does he do it if only you knew <laughs> jen walters can use the law to help people when society fails them and she hulk can help people when the law fails them all right daredevil with your uh Carefully chosen words. We're all feeling this, right? It's not just me. <laughs> oh. Okay. What an absolute douchebag. I hate this guy. I mean, I own that oh, now. Oh, this guy. God, no one is collecting African shit on my level. Oh, I hate everything he says. <laughs> Studied abroad there. Really? Wakanda forever! Oh, I, I, that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I love that he did it wrong. He didn't do it like T'Challa. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and I'm billing you for the whole hour. <laughs> I know that makes She Hulk look like a prostitute, but it, if it does, it makes him look like a buyer of prostitutes, so win-win. Not really win-win. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's my famous secret layer. Oh, oh, I, I had you to find Who the hell is coming after him? I <laughs> leap frog. You need to back off. You mess with my client. Cause now I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Digging this scene, but that audio was terrible, man. My uh, ass remains unwhooped. <laughs> yeah, let's fix that. Matt Murdock's got some balls going up against a Hulk. Uh, come on! Oh! Enjoy that, Daredevil's oversensitive ears. <laughs> Wait, do you pretend to be blind, man? Because that is really no, problematic. No, no, I'm blind, I'm blind. Relax, I... Like, echolocation? Yeah, kind of. It's, um... Uh, I basically have really good hearing. Used to. Until She-Hulk was all bam. You asked me before immediately trying to whoop my ass. I I'm sorry that I assumed the guy dressed as the devil was the bad one. <laughs> well, it is very daring to use ketchup and mustard as your colors. <laughs> How about I tell Luke you said that? No, no, please don't. <laughs> okay. For version two, we, we gotta go all out. I'm talking bulletproof shields. Why is this happening? Who is this old man? But you're right. I love a good henchman fight. Goons and henchmen are two completely different animals. The henchmen believe in the cause, whereas goons are just there for the paycheck. Henchmen, goons, whatever. That's quite insightful there, Daredevil. You can hear their heartbeats. <laughs> Come on, that's a little far fetched. <laughs> Too. They're 
her heart's beating pretty fast. Mmm, that's because she's in love. What? No, it's not. I'm healthy. <laughs> and he knows it too. Because <laughs> they have weapons, Jennifer? Yeah, good thing She Hulk is indestructible, Matthew. <laughs> Just remind me again how many times you've broken into a warehouse full of goons. Oh, remind me again who has the superpowers here? Uh. <laughs> okay, I guess that's pretty cool. <laughs> so I said, I respect that you... I've never been a huge Daredevil fan. I, I did watch the Netflix series and thought they were pretty good, but I was way more into Jessica Jones. But MCU Daredevil, I'm keen for it, man. Not a fan of the yellow suit, though. Give me the dark suit. I like that better. By the way, guys, Daredevil in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, boy. Right, how are you going to do this? Oh, my God. This is good. Is this like by the same people that did the crazy good one in the Netflix show? See, the suit looks great in this light. Weapons, lads. It'd be handy if there was a She-Hulk right about now. There we go. She-Hulk smash. <laughs> How about we don't? Whoa, 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 hey, that's vintage! Oh, She-Hulk. That's a declaration of war right there. <laughs> Say this is an episode of Mania. Temporary insanity is murky, but it's not a bad strategy. I angle this more as a form of traumatic expression due to undiagnosed PTSD. Trying to identify yourself to Frogger. Uh, I'm just a big fan of legal dramas. <laughs> really kind of doing it for me. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Break his legs when he fell out of there. <laughs> Not really a stick around and talk to the cops kind of guy. Oh, so brooding. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Really? This is happening? Uh, no, I was the lead superhero. Uh, you were the guy who wanted to spend half an hour. Uh, Dead Evil was pretty, pretty epic in this. Here we go. You brought your A game, Matt Murdock. Because if she goes She Hulk in the middle of uh, sex, then you're gonna have to fucking use that echo location of yours or something. I don't know. <laughs> That is, uh, I'm down with that. I'm really down with that. That's cool. I don't think we have too many, like, superhero couples, do we? Is this the walk of shame for Daredevil? <laughs> Weird, you guys are still here? You thought we'd leave after you had sex with Daredevil? What? There's some guy outside dressed in a devil costume, and he's doing the walk of shame, because he's... What? Oh. <laughs> 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 Wait, we're doing the gala? That doesn't feel right. Is next episode the finale? Yeah, it is. But the question is, is it the kind of twist that's like, ooh, there's another Hulk, but this one's red, or oh. like, I'm getting fridged? Oh, sorry, I hope. Do not get fridged. Whatever, I'm game. When it up real loud, and huh? when the lights on down, everywhere I go, yeah, everybody knows I'm funny like a yeah, word. Red Hulk in this? What the fuck? What's going on here? I'm glad I got onto this right away because sometimes I see like not big spoilers, but like something will be trending on Twitter, and it's like, oh, okay. Well, that's uh, certainly oh, awful. God, really? <laughs> How is that absolute creep allowed to go to Female Lawyer of the Year awards? Ugh. Female Lawyer of the Year award goes to Jennifer She-Hulk Walters. Let's go! Hug. Hunter. Of course he's there. Alice Chen. Joanne Torres. Barbara Wells. Oh, it's like that. Book. Now tell us, what's it like being a female lawyer? What is with this award ceremony? When they called it Female Lawyer Award, I was like, uh, that seems kind of Twice the on word, the nose, doesn't the it? the recognition, and you're constantly being asked what it's like being a female lawyer. Thank you, book. This is what busted. What is happening? <laughs> this is the truth presented by Intelligentsia. She Hulk does not deserve your attention. She does not deserve your praise. She does not deserve the power she stole from the Hulk. Oh my god, can somebody <laughs> cut this Wait off? Wait a minute. <laughs> this, is not, this is not funny, but um... Is that all the contents of her phone? She does not. 
<laughs> picture of Captain America's ass. Yeah, it is. I thought it was like a over embellished, like giant big booty Captain America, but it's his actually is his shield. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh man, that's bad. <laughs> I don't blame her one bit. Oh, is this Hulk rage? And he's got a Wakandan spear, which is vibranium tip. Oh yeah, gotcha, bitch. Oh, I thought she went like, uh, can somebody fucking stop this guy, please? By the way, she's a hero, isn't she? Why are they drawing on her? Yikes, man. <laughs> That was, uh, yeah, man. Sex tape being revealed against somebody's will without their consent in the first place is pretty uh, tasteless to say the, the least. That's probably an understatement. Intelligentsia is actually a pretty, um, I don't know. I mean, in terms of like threatening or scary villains, they kind of, they kind of hit a weird, like realistic Cord. Oh god. Oh, Mr. Nobody. <laughs> huh. Alright, that's interesting. That's funny. Because he's not videotaping her and posting it on the internet. <laughs> Ginger Gonzaga? Is that the uh, friend? Because that is a, a fantastic name. Ginger Gonzaga. <laughs> Things took a little bit of a serious turn at the end of that there, which I'm very, I'm welcoming that into the series because I think it has been a little bit too light in places. And uh, I guess in the background, they've kind of been building up this villainous, you know, racket that I guess She-Hulk's going to take down in the final episode. And you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. I think that's a, a good way to pace the, um, the series. The wedding episode, I still think was a little bit unnecessary, but I think this might be the best episode so far. I really enjoyed episode one with all the Hulk, She-Hulk, you know, thing. I'd have, maybe have to go back and rewatch that and rethink it. But this episode was a lot of fun and uh, Daredevil in this world i just really yeah we don't have many we don't have many superhero couples so this is kind of new territory in a way unless i'm thinking i mean there's like gamora and peter quill but not really uh there is iron man and pepper Potts, but not really i guess ant-man and the wasp is a uh, superhero couple yeah, I don't really know, but I love that idea. I love this concept. I love the chemistry between the two as well. These two characters, both as heroes and as, uh, you know, civilians. So good. The The courtroom scene was fantastic. This episode was, uh, yeah, I think the best episode of the season so far. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this one. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.